all my beautiful ninjas thank you so much for tuning back into another video i hope you guys are all having an awesome awesome day so as you guys can tell by the title i wanted to actually show you guys for those of you who do not like liquid foundation i wanted to show you how much coverage you're able to get with a powder foundation and i'm going to be using one of my favorite powder foundations i do plan on doing a couple of more videos just like this just for those of you who do not like to feel like you have on a lot of makeup and those of you who just simply don't like liquid foundation because the way that it feels, I wanted to show you what you're able to do and to accomplish with a um, powder foundation, a really good powder foundation as well. So I don't have anything on my face right now besides moisturizer, but I'm going to go ahead and actually prime my skin normally like I normally would simply because when I'm applying makeup on my face, I always want some type of barrier between my skin and the actual makeup itself. So I'll make sure to leave links to everything down below, but this is the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Erasing Primer. And this is basically what I'm gonna apply pretty much all over the face. And the mattifying primer that I'm gonna be using is the Becca Ever Matte and Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, okay? That's the name of this primer. So I actually am like, damn near out of this but every time I go online to try to order it it's always sold out so I feel like I need to go to the store and pick it up or whenever it goes back in stock I definitely need to pick this up because I actually really love this primer it does a really great job at just mattifying the skin and the area and it just making your makeup look a lot more flawless because it also is poreless as well so it helps to reduce the appearance of pores so this is basically what I have and I typically put it around the areas that I typically get oily, obviously, which is my T-zone. All right, so for those of you who do not like, and again, sorry for the noise in the background, it is what it is. So for those of you who do not like um, <clears throat> liquid foundations, um, what I typically do, even if I'm doing like a no makeup, makeup look type of thing, I do typically just apply concealer and then just a little bit of uh, powder all over my face and that's it. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can achieve that, but then also if you're not someone that likes liquid foundation, but you still wanna look a little bit more glam and more like, like you tried to do something, you know what I mean? <laughs> I also, I'm gonna show you guys how you're able to do that as well with just a uh, powder foundation. But of course for me, I still am going to conceal because my biggest, I guess, problem area is basically under my eyes. I have really dark circles around my eyes, so it makes me look like I'm tired or I'm about to knock out pretty much and I'm, wide awake and excited and have all the energy in the world so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Maybelline fit me um, concealers so I have two of them here actually the one that I typically use is this one right here which is number 30 in cafe and this is the one that I use all the time this is very close to my skin tone so it helps me to kind of like cover up dark spots as well as conceal under my eyes as well if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look but I went to Walmart recently um, to pick up my birth control and I just kind of like went through their makeup section and I see that they I guess came out with more shades because and the numbers are different as well so the number that I have here is number 45 and I think it says tan okay does that say tan I have no idea you guys like you know I, I can't see and I don't know where I put my glasses so I think it says number 45 and tan but I think they came with like additional shades in between but this shade is supposed to be like a little bit lighter than this one that I typically use. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use them both. I'm going to use this new shade under my eyes. Hopefully it just works well. And then I'm still going to use this shade, um, which is number in the number 30 cafe. I'm going to use that to basically spot conceal certain areas like my dark spots and stuff like that. As you guys can see, I'm not really like acne prone, but let me zoom y'all. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have basically moles, freckles, and um, beauty marks. So like this is a beauty mark. These are basically freckles for the most part. That's a mole. And then I have some moles in between here too. So on both sides of my face, that's pretty much what I have mostly of. I'm not really like someone that gets acne that often, but moles and freckles it's definitely like the older that i've gotten it's definitely gotten more and more like on my face so the number 30 cafe concealer i'm going to actually put this around my nose just because it's dark around my nose and then i'm just going to kind of spot conceal so just kind of go over some of the dark spots on my face 
And then I'm going to go ahead and use this shade, which is, an, I think it's, an, it's called tan. I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below. I'm going to use this shade under my eyes. This one I think is more orange golden and then the other one is definitely more like neutral. Um, I typically like more neutral stuff. I don't like anything that has like a distinct um, undertone, but we're just gonna have to roll with it and make it work. Alrighty, so now just moving on to basically what this video is about. So basically I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder. This is a powder foundation um, and this is basically what it looks like and I absolutely love this but I typically, and you guys have seen me apply this over liquid foundation, but I just wanted to actually show you guys the amount of coverage that you can get with a regular powder foundation just in case you're not a liquid foundation type of person. So I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit. into my face first and then I'm just gonna go ahead and actually buff it in just to make everything look more seamless and flawless and get the most coverage pretty much so I'm just gonna go ahead and buff pat it first and then just buff it into my skin So I think this should definitely show you guys a difference between both sides of my face. Um, so of course, this is the side that I applied the powder foundation. And as you guys can see, it's more flawless, more put together, more seamless. You can still see some of my freckles and things like that peeking through, but it still gives you a more flawless look. And then this side of my face, although it doesn't look bad, it's a little bit more flat and um, it doesn't have any color so there's a little bit more flat and it just doesn't really look like much is going on so basically this side of my face looks more flawless more seamless brings more color into my skin so it looks more like radiant and then this side of my face obviously as you guys can see is more flat there's nothing wrong with it but it's just more flat there's not that much life into this side of my face so Hopefully you guys can see the difference between both sides of my face. This is the side that has the powder foundation and this side has nothing at all. Both sides do have concealer under the eyes, but as you can see, this side of my face looks like you can definitely work with it a lot better. It makes you look like, it just makes you look more radiant and more youthful. Um, and this side of my face just looks, you know, like skin-like. So this is basically the difference. I wanted to kind of show it to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. So you guys can see what both sides look like and the amount of coverage that I'm able to get from both sides. Alrighty, so now that the foundation is on both sides of my face, as you guys can tell, it looks like I have on liquid foundation, but all I applied is just the powder foundation itself. So this basically just goes to show you that you definitely do not have to buy a whole bunch of liquid foundation if you don't like liquid foundation or if you're looking for something that's a little bit more lighter weight. If you don't like the feel of liquid foundation on your face, this basically just goes to show you that if you have a good powder foundation, you are definitely able to build it up to create a full coverage look if you really wanted to. So obviously, if your skin is not as, I guess, blemished as mine, then obviously you can definitely get a full coverage look with the powder foundation. But of course, I do have freckles and moles and things like that. But this still did a really great job at kind of like concealing them. But I still look very awake, very alert, very put together. And I can definitely build on this as well. If I wanted to add bronzer and highlighter and all that stuff, I can definitely do that with just a powder foundation. So this basically just shows you that you don't have to go ahead and buy all these liquid foundations out here if you don't want to, if you don't like the feel of them, or if you just are looking for like an alternative if you're looking for something like lighter weight throughout the days and stuff like that. This is basically what I would go to. 
do more of like a powder foundation, some concealer, and then I'm pretty much out the door. So this is basically what you're able to achieve. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I'm done with my makeup and this is the way that it turned out. Honestly, it does. It looks like I have on liquid foundation. So this basically just goes to show you that you definitely do not have to buy liquid foundation along with powder foundation. And like I mentioned, if you are someone that do not like that does not like the feeling of makeup on your face and you don't like the feeling of liquid foundation in general, if you have sensitive skin, whatever the case may be, this basically goes to show you that you can create a full coverage type of look with just powder foundation. So this is basically the way that my makeup turned out, and I think that it looks very nice very presentable still looks very full coverage as well but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all so so of course it's another video so you guys know that i do have to share with you guys what i am currently grateful for um the past couple of weeks has been a little like whatever for me but that's neither here nor there so um if i have to basically share something that i'm definitely grateful for it would be just kind of like my vision my outlook and my perspective going into this year. I mentioned this to you guys before, but I feel like this year I'm definitely focused more on purpose than anything else. Um, and I think I mentioned this a little bit as well in a, a previous video, that it's like I'm kind of getting a little annoyed with YouTube, not necessarily with YouTube, but I think just, just social media in general, and just I feel like you kind of get lost in all of that. Um, and I think that now my vision is just for what I want and for what God wants for me. I feel like it's definitely getting clearer and clearer every day, the more that I kind of separate myself from it. So I'm definitely grateful for that. I'm definitely grateful for clarity. I'm definitely grateful for just being on purpose. And that's my mission for this year, for sure. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys are currently grateful for. Like I mentioned, if you guys have any other suggestions for videos or products that you want me to try definitely let me know down in the comment section below as well so thank you so much for tuning into another video if you have yet subscribed to my channel make sure that you go ahead and click that subscribe button and obviously make sure that you join the team by clicking that notification as well so you're always notified every time i upload videos like this one so thank you again be safe stay blessed and remember to always treat yourself